everyone in continuation of our topic of principles of genetics today we are going to talk about the mitochondrial inheritance till now we have studied that genes are present in the chromosomes inside the nucleus but mitochondria and chloroplast also have some amount of dna The zygote gets the chloroplast and the mitochondria from egg that is from the mother's body. Therefore, the inheritance is also called as maternal inheritance. Any defective gene present in the mitochondria can give rise to any defect in the individual through the egg of the mother and therefore it is called as the maternal inheritance. Next topic is karyotype. Karyotype is the arrangement of chromosomes on the basis of their size and the location of centromere and this complete arrangement is called as karyotype. In case of human beings, There are 46 chromosomes that is 23 pairs and they are arranged in 7 groups. And the basis on which they are classified is their size and the position of the centromere. Accordingly, these chromosomes are arranged from the biggest size to the smallest size and the sex chromosome is kept at the last. When this type of arrangement is done, this is called as karyotype and this process is called as karyotyping. Next topic is genetic disorders. If there is any change in the number of chromosomes or the structure of chromosomes, it leads to various genetic disorders and they are n in number in human beings. Some of them we are going to study today. The first disorder is Down syndrome. Down syndrome occurs due to trisomy of 21st pair of chromosomes. That means instead of a pair, there is an extra chromosome in the 21st chromosome. As a result, instead of normal number of 46 chromosomes, the number is increased to 47. This type of individual is mentally retarded and has thick tongue. Mostly mothers above the age of 40 have this disorder and they can bear the children having Down syndrome wherein the number of chromosomes is, is increased to 47 instead of 46 due to increase in the 21st pair of chromosomes that is the extra chromosome in 21st pair. Next disorder is Kleinfelter syndrome. In this disorder, there is an extra chromosome and the genotype becomes XXY instead of XY. The individual is a male with feminine characters with 
there is gynecomastia that is development of breasts and such males are sterile that they are not able to reproduce. So, due to an extra chromosome in XY that is XXY, there is Klinefelter syndrome wherein the male has feminine characters, is sterile and has got uh, development of breasts is also there. Next syndrome is Turner syndrome. This occurs in female wherein there is loss of one X chromosome and the genotype becomes XO instead of XX. Such females are sterile and they are mentally retarded as well. There is another category of diseases that is color blindness in hemophilia. In color blindness, the person is unable to differentiate between red and green color, wherein in hemophilia due to loss of a due to the presence of a defective gene, there is loss of excess of blood and the person may die also. Due to this reason, hemophilia is also called as bleeder's disease. It is popularly called as royal disease because this disease is there in the family of Queen Victoria of England. Therefore, it is also called as royal disease. Now, both the disorders are due to the presence of a defective gene which is recessive. As we have read earlier, recessive gene is the one which is not able to express itself in first generation. So, both the disorders are caused by recessive gene. And since this gene is located on the sex chromosome, therefore, it is also called as sex linked disorder. We can understand this with the help of a very simple example. This is a career mother. Carrier mother means the mother does not suffer from color blindness, but carries the recessive gene. Since this gene is not able to express, the disorder remains hidden or masked and this particular female would be called as carrier mother. If this carrier mother marries a normal individual, a normal man, let us see what is the progeny like. Here we can see if a carrier mother marries a normal father, normal father means who does not suffer from color blindness, we can see the daughter is normal. Wherein the son is color blind. Here we can easily see that the carrier mother transfers X chromosome to the daughter and the defective chromosome carrying the color blindness gene to the son. Therefore, mother is transferring the gene to the son instead of daughter and this kind of inheritance is called as criss cross inheritance that we have read earlier. Therefore, this, there is one more prevalent thing about the color blindness or all these sex related disorders that mostly males suffer from such disorders and the reason is very simple because the defective gene is obtained from the mother if the mother is carrier. The father if normal father is there, 
it it transports it transmits only the y chromosome because y ca causes the maleness such sex linked disorders are caused by recessive gene and they are more prevalent in males next genetic disorder is thalassemia this is an autosomal disorder wherein the defective gene is present on the autosome since in thalassemia defective hemoglobin is found therefore the person or the individual who is suffering from thalassemia has to undergo blood transfusion off and on it is caused by a recessive gene next disorder is rh incompatibility rh is the protein or the antigen present on the surface of rbcs if a rh negative mother marries a rh positive father then they may bear a child who may be rh positive there may be mixing of the blood as a result the antigen will boost the immune system of the mother and the antibodies will be produced in the body of the mother as a result there would be rh incompatibility and first pregnancy it does not matter as much as in second pregnancy since this antibodies remain in the body of rh negative mother during second pregnancy these antibodies will fight with the rbcs will destroy the rbcs of the child as a result there would be the child would be anemic because of the loss of rbcs nowadays since there is advancement in the health research now there are disorders like rh incompatibility but we have found the solutions to all this and at the time of first delivery only this is solved by the doctors next disorder is sickle cell anemia this is also an autosomal disorder caused by the recessive gene the shape of the normal rbcs is biconcave due to defective gene present the shape of the rbcs become sickle shaped as a result they are destroyed due to low oxygen tension and there is the person suffers from anemia since it is caused by recessive gene the homozygous recessive are not able to survive at all they die the heterozygotes which have a defective gene but also a normal gene have an advantage 50% of their rbcs are normal and 50% are sickle shaped as a result they get an advantage from malaria such malarial parasite cannot reside in sickle shaped rbcs since they are sickle shaped malarial parasite cannot live there so such individuals who are heterozygous who are hybrid they are naturally getting the advantage of not suffering from malaria and this is the genotype of the individual who survives and the gene is also there in the masked form but there is a natural advantage of getting the relief from malaria next topic is human genome now what is genome genome is the set of genes present on haploid set of chromosomes in 2003 human genome project got completed now we have all the 25000 genes have been identified now we are looking forward to the solutions to these defects which are caused by the defective genes and here the most important findings of the human genome project is that only 1.5% of the dna 
codes for proteins or has the information to have some characters. The total number of genes has been identified as 20,000 to 25,000. Before Human Genome Project got completed, it was thought that there are 80,000 genes in human body, but after the Human Genome Project got completed, now we are sure that there are 25,000 genes and the scientists are looking forward to the solution to the, all the problems which are caused by any defective gene. Now, in today's world, we have the genes, their sequencing, we know their structure, we know their function and the scientists are very hopeful that we will soon find the solution to a number of disorders for which the people are still suffering. After the Human Genome Project, we have identified all the genes present in human body. We know the structure till date, we know their function, we know the defective genes and the scientists are very hopeful that they will find solution to all the existing diseases for which the mankind is suffering. With this, we come to an end. Thank you.